Welcome to the Tropics House at the Conservatory of the United States Botanic Garden. I'm Deputy Executive Director Dr. Susan Pell, and today I'm going to talk to you about a plant that we have in bloom. It's called Amorphophallus yaoi. This is a beautiful plant that was in peak bloom uh, yesterday and the day before, and this morning it has fully collapsed. So we can see that collapsed inflorescence here. This is a member of the aeroid family, and that family is characterized by having a spadix inflorescence, and that's what we're going to look at here today. So an inflorescence is just a, a collection of many individual flowers, in this case thousands of flowers, and you can see this inflorescence was quite tall. It was about three feet tall when it was in peak bloom, and it's subtended by this modified leaf that's called a spade, and this spade has kind of two functions. So one, it protects the flowers that are down here inside, and it also uh, facilitates pollination. In this case, this plant actually heats up and volatilizes some sulfur compounds, which give off an aroma similar to a rotting corpse. So it's similar to its uh, closely related species, Amorphophallus titanum, which is the corpse flower, or Titan's arum, but it's not quite as large and not quite as stinky. This is a plant that is native to the Philippines. It's uh, found in montane tropical forests there, and it was recently described in January of this year as a new species to science. It was given a scientific name. Of course, the uh, people of the Philippines have known this plant for hundreds, if not thousands of years. So let's take a closer look at these flowers. What we see here on the top is the male flowers, and the bottom are the female flowers. So these female flowers are characterized by having a sort of peach-colored stigma. That's the, the part at the end there that's receptive to pollen. They have a style, that long stalk, that connects, it, connects the stigma to the ovary, and the ovary is that dark purple sort of bulbous structure at the bottom, and it's the ovary that is the part of the female flower that becomes the fruit. Now on the top here, we've got these male flowers, and they're actually shedding their pollen here this morning. You can see that sort of stringy pollen right there falling off of them. Now this plant prevents self-pollination by having its flowers separated temporally. And what that means is that the male flowers release their pollen after the female flowers have already been receptive and are no longer receptive. So you can see this pollen is falling on these female flowers within the same inflorescence, but they are not pollinating these uh, female flowers because they're no longer receptive to the pollen. The underground part of this plant is called a corum, and it either produces a bloom or a leaf, but not both at the same time. So this yaoi is producing a bloom, and its neighboring amorphophallus here is producing a leaf. You can see that leaf here. This is a single leaf. It looks kind of like a tree, but it's a single leaf, and it's got a very long stalk called a petiole there. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to our future botanical adventures.